guys, so I'm going to show you this thing I've been working on lately, which I call shoulder clocks. And we're just going to start off with the hands to the sides. All you're going to do is go through elevation and neutral and then depression of the shoulders. Again, making sure that you're in a straight line. So you're in this neutral position of your body. You're not swinging those hips forward, right, or too far back. And see if you can find that. And now we're going to do one arm at a time. And notice how that makes my rib cage start moving a little bit, allow that to happen. Trying to isolate this movement at the shoulders. Now I'm going to reach my hands out in front of me and go through that protraction and then retraction. So seeing if you can feel that, shoulders going forward, find the middle, they go back, find the middle, neutral. And again, so again, the rib cage is moving here with this motion. My head is not too much though. And now we're going to do one at a time with that. So I'm going to reach one arm forward and then the other. I'm going to try to keep my hips level. So reach and reach. Yep, it takes you through a little rotation, that rib cage mobilization. You get your shoulders to move, your rib cage has to move. We're going to take the arms directly overhead. Same idea, go into depression, neutral elevation, neutral depression. And notice what that does to your thoracic spine. It makes you want to lift your breastbone up when you drop down. And again, one more time. Now we're going to do one at a time on this. So reaching. So just reaching from side to side. Good job. All right, now I'm going to go out to the side. So my arms are going to go out to the side. First, I'm going to just use this one hand. I'm going to push and then come back in. So push, like you're pushing something away from you. We do this on the reformer when we do the mermaid. Do the other side, so push. So this side of me comes in as I push. The shoulder blade's going that way as I push. And again, push. Now I'm gonna go from side to side. So get that push and push and push. So see if you can feel that. See if you can get that. It's a little hard. It's a little bit harder. And then last time I'm gonna reach back behind me and I'm gonna drop down and kind of reaching down and back behind me. So again, going through these reaches. Now I'm gonna start doing this motion in a circle. So I'm going through this shoulder mobilization and I'm gonna go all the way up. Now when I get to about right here, my palms are gonna to wanna to start flipping because the shoulders want to move in the socket. So let that happen, let that happen. Push, and now we're going to go down and back behind you and reach back behind you and then come back through again. So there's your big circle or clock, your shoulder clock of sorts. And again, you could do these both at the same time. I'm just showing you this one where I'm doing one at a time. I could reach both, go like this all the way up and around, getting that range of motion. Ooh, you're gonna feel this, but I really like doing the side to side and then come all the way back through. Anyway, play with that. Let me know what you think. Hope it helps you.